I don't come on here on Sunday no more, at least I had to, or if there's something really need to be said, so we do have some freeze warnings for our air, so we're going to go over that. That made me want to come on here, but while we're on here, we might as well cover everything else, too. All right, let's hit these wildfires and these hot spots first. That way we can see more about what's going on. Y'all know these big dots right here are wildfires. Y'all see them? All these little red dots right here, them are hot spots. Magma flowing underneath the surface. Surface. We got a build up right here. All out in here, we got a big old build up of magma right there. And you can see it. It's everywhere. It's starting to come up through here and coming up through. So I would expect from all this magma coming through here and this magma trying to come through here. I'm sorry, I did not mean to shake y'all. That's the daggum dog. Sorry, I'm moving her. She hit the computer desk. But anyways, uh, so we got a lot of magma right here and right here. And I figure as this comes over here and this comes up through here, we better be watching for activity of with earthquakes up through here somewhere so we can follow the magma all right we're gonna turn that off because we got a lot more we gotta go over oh wrong one i'm sorry all righty here let's hit the earthquakes we got 2.54 in oklahoma and we got three small ones West Texas ain't as warm as much as it has been, but it's warming. It's still got three, six, nine. They showing nine there on this. In Yellowstone, in the magma chamber of Yellowstone, we got a magnitude 2.7. Southern California down here, close to the Mexico border, down here around the Salton Sea, or in the Salton Butte Volcano, we got a... Uh, 2.7 just north of the volcano there, 6.2 .2 kilometer deep. They trying to come back down through there. That's the first one I've seen right in there in a long time. But I figured they're going to keep coming this way until something finally ruptures the brakes in Southern California. There's just too much stress out in here, everywhere. These faults up through here, right here around Ridge Crest. And we got faults we've been watching coming through here. All oh, there's faults all out in here. Y'all see all them earthquakes right along there, all them faults. And we got 2.5, negative 0 0.9 kilometers. Let me turn this where y'all can see that. Depth. Negative 0 0.9 kilometers. That's almost a kilometer above sea level, y'all. So that's up in the hills or up in the mountains somewhere right there. That high up at 2.5. We're going to go on north there. Southeast of Eureka. And y'all, I got a story about the name Eureka means... Uh, let's see, what did it mean? Uh, we have found it. That's what Eureka mean in the ancient days. Is we have found it. Whenever I heard that, and then I, I, the first thing I thought about was this right here, this Eureka. But anyways, right there, we got a 3.9, 35.1 kilometer day. We're going to go on over here. We done discussed that one. Pretty quiet right here right now. And around that Vancouver Island, I'd watch that. There's an old volcano over here. Alaska. Y'all see Alaska? A lot of them little ones in Alaska are normal, y'all. But it ain't normal to see them turn and come back around. They usually come up and come down but let's get on with the show here we got a we got a little swarm right here going on the biggest one the 3.1 and 
And then we got a 2.6, 4.2, 3.7, and a 0.43. It's hard to believe that there's a 4.2 and a 3.7, and the only other earthquake right there is a 0 0.43. Over here, calling this the Carroll Islands, 4.8. 10 kilometer deep, which is 6.2 miles around Japan. We got a 4.2 and a 4.5. Down here around this area, 4.4, 4.7, 4 4.9. This one right here is a 4.5 in the Philippines. Down here in, in Indonesia, 4.5. Papua New Guinea area, 4.9. Papua New Guinea era 5.4 and then we get over here we got uh, in the Fiji region they call it a 4.4 553.1 kilometer deep y'all see how deep that earthquake right there is that is a deep earthquake that is going to generate more and more earthquakes which makes sense all the magma the biggest magma plume, most of the magma come up through here and come around the place. So that lines up with right up what I've been telling y'all all along. Alright, we're going to go here to South America. We need to watch South America all up through here. They're showing a 4.4. Then right here, a 4.3, a 4.9. And a 5.6 in Nicaragua. And then over here, we always be having these. I'm always telling y'all about them, but we got a, we got four three points and above. That one's 88.2 kilometer deep. And let's see Hawaii. Hawaii got a 2.57, a 2.51, and a 2.67. Over here in Afghanistan, a 4.1, 191.4 kilometer deep. Right here is calling this Somalia, 5.2, 10 kilometer deep. And we got earthquakes in here, and they ain't showing them. They ain't showing them in Alaska. I mean, uh, Iceland, which is erupting right now, also, and has been for a couple of days. I haven't been able to report on that because I was doing other things all day yesterday. I was in lodge meetings, so I couldn't come on here at all. But anyway, now that we done went through all the earthquakes, we skipped this fella. It just popped up one. We didn't hit them all. Let's see. It just popped up. A 4.7, 10-kilometer deep. All right, now we got them. We're going to turn off the earthquakes. And we're going to hit the weather real quick. Y'all see, we got high pressure, but we got low pressures everywhere, too. All that low pressure area, you can expect some wind and stuff. But y'all see this frontal boundary, how it sort of dipped down? Y'all see how they stacked in? Let me get this over here. Y'all see how we got this one, then this one, and then we got this one? Well, this is the one, Miss Air. And then we had another coast bell, and that front and boundary did not stretch out and pull out in time. It joined this one, which stalled this one down, and turned around and happened the same thing right here. And we're getting all this cold air up in here. There's some cold air. Overnight, going to be pushing into our area right here, especially in, let me show y'all the warnings areas. Arkansas, North Mississippi, West Tennessee. We are all underneath a freeze watch and there is a bunch of counties and cities um, I would advise you to go to my radar site if you can get it and read it uh, let's see I'll try to see if I can get the camera over I'm gonna leave it right there that way y'all can see what I'm talking about. The counties 
just about the whole north of Mississippi right here. Every all of us are gonna be on the freeze watch tonight. Gonna get this camera back over here, y'all. I'm sorry, but it won't shine too wide. If I make it shine too wide, it shows off screen. So I can't go no wider. But as you can see, this through here, anywhere through here, freeze watch. Up here, we got a special weather statement. And they, they could be freezing air up in there tonight. They claim all up in here. So, we get over here, we're going to have uh, some storms. They're not too bad right now. I don't predict them to get bad either. But we do have some thunderstorms rolling through. And let's see, I'm trying to see anything else as far as weather-wise. May get some rain and snow if you're around up here around the Great Lakes, Chicago, northern Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York. Y'all got a lot of cloud co cover up in there. Could drop some little bit of snow or something if the temperature gets just right. But I wouldn't expect it a lot. So, let me see if we got everything else covered. Let me turn that off. Let's see. Oops. Alright, I'm going to show y'all the temperatures. Y'all see the temperatures around here in Mississippi, about 60 Alabama, Virginia, all up in here, 60, 70 degrees. You get up in here in the boot hills of Missouri and Illinois, up in here, you're getting in the 50s. But y'all see all this cold air back here I was telling y'all about. That cold air is going to push its way down tonight in this air and just clip us right there as it goes on out tomorrow. So, there is a freeze watch it could or could not happen but i would always be prepared for anything you never know all right temperature most of the country the temperatures are pretty good though y'all except for up in here in the northern plains and yeah that's in the 30s up there and then a little bit of 40s up around northern new york vermont maine up in there 30s 40s but overall, not too bad on the temperatures at all. They looking really good. Power outages. Let's hit them. We got a bunch of them in Maine. Got this one county right here, 1,070. And in Waldo County, 2,356. Come on down. West Virginia. Webster County, West Virginia, 460. This county right here in West Virginia, 362. Ohio, Logan County, Ohio, 469. Kentucky, 287 in that county. Mississippi. Adams County, Mississippi, 227 people without power. DeWitt County, Texas, 117. Burnett County, Texas, 832. Boyd County, Nebraska, 507. Yuma County, Arizona, 275. Torrance County, New Mexico, 116. Ever how you pronounce that county? Sandova County, 3,247. This county here, 1,794. 
This county got 337. Them are Indian tribes that I can't pronounce or something. Montana. Flathead County, Montana. 2,650 people without power. And uh, that's all that's reporting on the power. So, but while we're right here, y'all, let's go over here and let's look at Hawaii a minute. Gonna let us. I don't think it's gonna let us. So I guess that's our show for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh watch for the freeze watch tonight. I don't expect this to be no long term or severe but event or nothing, but I'd watch in case the temperature got low enough. You can need to leave your water dripping a little bit so your pipes wouldn't freeze. They could get that low. It's going to be pretty close on the verge right there, right on the borderline. So I would watch them just to make sure it save you some money. Y'all have a blessed Sunday evening. Like I said, I didn't plan on coming on, but with the freeze watch and, and me not making it yesterday, I figured I need to come on here and give y'all that information. And God bless y'all. <laughs> Yeah.